ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's me, Vibs here from SlideNerd. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Swipe 2 refresh layout in Android. If you go to my channel and if you go to playlist, we are currently stuck up under material design where we were talking about the recycler view animations with the help of custom items in the last video. Today, let's take a look at how we can use the Swipe 2 refresh layout in our code. Okay, so first step, how does it look? This is what the swipe to refresh layout looks like. You have a list, you pull down the list, there is this progress bar that pops up and there is a method called on refresh that is triggered in your activity or fragment. Inside that method, you determine whether you want to load new data or not. So let's take a look at the documentation a bit. Here you hope it says have an on refresh listener which is given right here. If you open this listener, you will notice that there is a single method called on refresh. It says classes that wish to be notified when the swipe gesture correctly triggers a refresh should implement this interface. In other words, you are responsible for determining whether you want to actually load new data or not. If you don't want to load new data, you want to cancel the progress bar. You can do so by saying set refreshing false. If you want to show the progress bar, you can say set refreshing true. So the next question that you should ask yourself is, do I need to get this layout in my app? Now everyone jumps around saying, hey, pull to refresh list view, pull bottom, pull top, go side, go right, whatever they do. The question you need to ask yourself as a good developer is, do you really need this in our app? And let's take a look at how we can judge that. If you remember the fragment box office where we load all the movies in the background, the feed for that looks like this. It was discussed in the earlier videos. If you notice the feed, there is no symbol of any date or time. Now, of course, there is the release date over here, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when this item was added into the feed, and that is the data which is missing here. So a swipe to refresh layout is perfect for those feeds which have a timestamp on them. Let me get more clear by giving you a better example, and this is from Facebook Graph API. Here I'm loading the feed for a particular page from Facebook and if you notice at the bottom there is a created time here and an updated time here. Now this indicates when that post was made on Facebook or when it was last updated on Facebook on that particular page. Swipe to refresh layout is perfect for those feeds where there is a created time or an updated time in the feed. So let's try and understand a practical use of this swipe to refresh layout in the terms of a dynamic feed like the Facebook one. Here if you notice a created time it says 2015-03-10. Now this simply means 10th March 2015. So if you go down further and you just scroll down you notice that there are several other posts on that same date but not this one which says created time is 2015-8th March 2015. So you see there are several posts on 10th and there are several posts on 8th. So if the user loads your app on the 8th of March and then he downloads the data that belongs to 8th of March. Now if he goes and opens the app again on the 10th of March, what you want to do is load all those posts that have occurred between 8th and 10th, that is 9 and 10th, that is those two days. You got to find out those feeds only and load them up and that is how you can actually use the swipe to refresh layout in a real app but like i said in our movies app there is no information about updated time or created time therefore all we can do is implement a dummy swipe to refresh layout to just show you guys how things work so coming to the layout of our fragment box office the swipe to refresh layout can have a single child so let's make sure that that child is this recycler view where we load the movies data so there you go i have added my swipe to refresh layout which is having the width of match parent and height of match and I have given it an ID and placed my recycler view exactly inside that swipe refresh layout. I've ensured that they perfectly match up in terms of height and width as per the documentation given there back on Google. So going back to our code, all we have to do is a bit of editing to get this thing to work. So coming back to our code, I have my swipe refresh layout variable initialized at the top. At the bottom in the on create view method, I have created the object from our XML. Now what I want to do is add a refresh listener to this layout so that we get a notification whenever the refresh is triggered. Now it's our job to determine whether we want to refresh the data or not. So it's called set on refresh listener. Here you just pass this to indicate that our fragment will take care of loading the data. So we say alt enter here and we say make the fragment implement the on refresh listener interface. So just print alt enter 
and override the on refresh method so here for now let me just display a simple toast so that you guys can understand whether the refresh is happening or not there you go it's on refresh so at this point let's run the app and find out what happens so there's our app running hopefully that will work with the swipe refresh as well we go back to the second tab where we load the movies and whoa i saw that take a look at this this is the swipe to refresh that says on a refresh over here does it happen at the bottom let's find out we go all the way to the bottom down there did you notice that the progress bar is still showing here and in fact it will continue to do so as long as you don't go there and hide it the idea is very simple from here you start an async task or volley with some kind of callback once you download the data in the post on post execute or after volley's callback has been triggered what you want to do is call set refreshing false to hide the progress bar once again so that's the basic idea why the progress bar is still visible so let's fix this now since our app doesn't really have timestamps the worst thing that we can do with our app is to download the entire json feed once again when the user triggers a swipe now again i repeat if this is the app that you're going to make where you're going to download the whole data again you don't need a swipe to refresh layout for that so consider getting rid of this so in my case we have a task load box office movies async task which i showed you in the earlier videos where there is a listener which is basically our fragment box office itself that implements this listener called box office movies loaded listener and we already launched this task once inside the on create view method where we checked whether the database was empty and if yes we simply loaded new data from the internet we are going to do it once again inside the on refresh method so here i'm going to say new task box office movies pass the callback as this and i'll say execute over here and we don't need to pass any parameters to that async task now inside the on box office movies loaded is i'll receive the data that is loaded through the async task but remember that this method will be called two different times once when we are trying to refresh with a swipe to refresh layout other time when we are actually trying to load data because the database was empty so we are going to have an if condition here to determine whether we triggered this method because of a swipe to refresh and that can be done very simply by saying if we're going to say m if swipe to refresh layout dot is refreshing now this indicates whether the swipe to refresh layout has actually been triggered so if that is the case then what we want to do is hide the progress bar by saying set refreshing equals to false over here and we don't have to worry about updating the adapter because the adapter is already updated at the bottom here inside the on box office movies loaded method see what happens when you write modular code everything works automatically so let's run the app and try to figure out whether our swipe to refresh is actually loading the data completely or not so there starts our app now we're going to go to the fragment box office you have some data initially now when i start going down there is no swipe to refresh obviously but if i go up I'll be triggering it at the topmost point over here. Now, right now, when I pull down, there you go. That's the swipe to refresh. The async task will be triggered. New data is loaded in front of you. But as you saw, that's loading the entire same data once again, which is pretty redundant. But I showed you just for the purpose of making you guys understand how a swipe to refresh can be used with an async task. So hopefully that covers your problem. Do let me know what you think about this video. If you like what you saw, Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to SlideNerd and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a nice day.